Hey, welcome back to the show, everybody. When you wheeze through your fa la la's and your nose rivals Rudolph's, it's a little tougher to feel jolly these days. Although allergies peak in the spring and fall, the holidays may surprise sensitive sufferers with a gift of unexpected triggers. We want to welcome our great friend and wish him the happiest of holidays. Allergist Dr. Mark Cromie from Chattanooga Allergy Clinic. And I'm going to tell you, the older I get, I think I can't take the smell of perfumes. So this I, is I don't the, know what's going this on. This is the sneezing's greetings is what yeah, I say. Yeah, greetings. But do you, do you get more sensitive the older you get? I think we all get more sensitive the older we get. I think what happens is that people that have allergies, and even those that don't have allergies, we have a overreactivity of our nasal mucosa to different types of scents. Now, I'll see it with perfumes, potpourri. We'll see it also with the weather changes. People that just have a hard time dealing with the barometric pressure changes, just like grandma's legs ache. Uh, the nose will become overreactive and get stuffy and runny. And so we call it vasomotorinitis or non-allergic. And it's very common this time of year. We're busier than we are even in the spring right now. Hey, can you imagine years ago when most people were smoking during the holidays oh, inside gosh. these homes? It's unbelievable. Our noses would explode. All right, let me go ahead and show this up on the screen. And these are some of the things when we talk about uh, holiday allergies, Christmas trees and spore growth and also dusty decoration. So, man, there's a lot hidden in that beautiful Christmas tree these days. Oh, yeah, even more than a squirrel in there what we're gonna <laughs> do is I mean when you take what I often recommend my patients do is they take the Christmas tree and they after they get it they bring it home let it dry in the garage a little and then get it, a blower a leaf blower to blow out all the spores and all the dust right. that's in it because often after these trees are cut if there's any mold in it it may take a week or so for the mold to, to come out and erupt and so you'll see spore production after the trees in the home and you'll see people having reactions and being sick because of the Christmas tree great idea the second thing you talked about these dusty decorations they've been in storage for a year dust oh yeah them off. And yeah. you got to be careful with what you're using to dust them with correct and people are sensitive to the cleaning supplies you're right all right let me go ahead food allergies galore we're talking about that I mean we're talking about so many fresh fresh baked pies and everything but you got to be careful with people who are allergic to you do this days. is a very dangerous time of year the only other time that's worse for our patients that have uh, food allergies is Halloween so now that the trick-or-treat season is over, Thanksgiving is here, grandma's pies are coming in, then baked goods. So if you've got a child like we do that has peanut or egg or even tree nut allergy, you've got to be very careful. You've got to know exactly what people are bringing in. Ask them, does this have nuts in it? Does it have peanuts in it? Make sure you have your EpiPen or your AviQ, your auto injector with you at all times. And if you're going to somebody's house for Thanksgiving, sometimes it's even worth bringing you know, an, their own food for the child that is allergic. You don't you're have to right. worry. And you know what? You're not going to upset the host these days or the hostess because it's going to save somebody's life. You exactly. don't want that to disrupt uh, your no, that's holiday. True, that's true. What about drinking wine? You talk about sulfites? Well, sulfite sensitivity, particularly in the red wines, we'll see patients that have um, swelling, sometimes hives, sometimes they just get stuffy. And it's an oversensitivity to a, a, a sodium metabisulfate, which is rich in wines and that have high tannin levels. So people that have this just have to limit it. It's not a life-threatening reaction like a food allergy. It's more of a uh, adverse effect. I know you're a graduate of the University of Georgia, and this is a huge study that came out that a lot of people don't realize. But when it comes to poinsettias, latex allergies actually this plant is from the rubber plant yeah plant. it's related to the brazilian uh, rubber plant tree hevia brazilensis and what happened is that medical college of georgia where i did my training uncovered a cross reactivity between poinsettias and latex so if you have patients that are out there that have latex sensitivities that are very sensitive to band-aids latex gloves if they've had spina bifida we've had multiple surgeries at a young age these kids are at a high risk as well as hospital employees and healthcare. Uh, people, those have high risk of latex sensitivity. So poinsettia has a cross-reactive allergen to the latex. So you got to be careful touching it. You might get a rash uh, or if you're moving them around decorating, you know, you might have some problems with hives or problems even breathing. All right. The last thing, fake scents, whether it's cinnamon and of course potpourri, make your own. I mean, there's some natural scents that yeah. you can do that are a lot better for you. Again, it's the same mechanism of action as smoke, perfume, tobacco, that kind of stuff. People are very irritated often by these smells. And so just like if you're sensitive to, uh, if you have asthma, the heat right now is an issue too. Kerosene heat is a huge trigger. People are using wood heat just to keep warm in these cold nights. That's a huge trigger. So again, even though the pollen is low, Jed. I want to make it clear this is our busiest next six weeks of the year. Because guess what? With our health care system now, people have met their deductibles sure. for the year. So people are dying to get in. We're so busy. So if you have allergies that are bothering you all year round, you're get tired in. of suffering, even though there's no pollen now, now's the time to come in to the Chattanooga Allergy Clinic. Best of the best, buddy. I love you, baby. It's good to have you here.
Here it is, Chattanooga Allergy Clinic. We talk about Lee Highway. Also, they've expanded their offices in Hickson. They've expanded their offices in Cleveland. They're in North Georgia. They're at VW. They are everywhere. 899-0431. ChattanoogaAllergyClinic.com voted best of the best. Happy holiday to you, sir. Thank you. Good information today. I love it. I love it. Three plus you after this.